Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mac. I'm host of Max Streamer Fishing and Outdoors. I've got almost at this point in time 5,000 subscribers on that channel. I'm also the host of Max Public Land Hunting. I've got maybe 1,400 on that one. It's a hunting, two way communications, survival channel. I don't know which one I'm going to post this video on yet, but this is going to be a video on how to rain proof a tent. I've had this same tent for probably 20 years. I've used it a bunch, but you know, I try to pick my weekends when they're not calling for heavy storms. And I have been rained on this thing hard with several times because in the Southeast, North Carolina, down South, you get a lot of evening thunder showers. And last time I used this at Stanton River State Park, me and my son did get a big rainstorm, stayed dry as a bone. Well, me and Aki took it to Florida this past January on a Swanee bass trip. I'll post that right there somewhere, downpour it leaked leaked bad so anyway i'm gonna waterproof the seams with this asco silicone waterproofing i've also got it in the spray i've got two cans of this awesome stuff i'm gonna do the big seams with this first do the rain fly first then i'm gonna take that off and do the whole rest of the tent but i'm gonna do all the seams with this make sure i get them good then i'm gonna go back over with this and a pump sprayer so let's get busy let's get this thing waterproof all right guys, so here's my tent. It's got the rain fly on it. I'm gonna do the seams on it, especially the ones going right here up the thing. Then I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna do this, put this back on, do this. I'm gonna have to do them probably kind of separate. But anyway, let's get busy. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay guys, right there, there's a seam. You know, good you can see that, but it's there good. I gotta get under the tent a little bit. There's a seam right here too. Got a seam right here. Right there. All right guys, we're inside the tent. I don't know how well you can see this, but you've got seams all the way around here. I'm gonna get all these seams don't know how good I can show you that, but like around these windows. All right, guys, so you get the idea in here. I'm doing all the seams. Going down the seam. All right, I've done all the seams on the inside with this. I've done the rain fly outside with this. Now I'm gonna go on the outside of the tent, do the seams, and then we're gonna waterproof the whole thing with that gallon. I got all them. All right, guys, I've done all the seams. Every seam, I don't think I missed a seam. I'm gonna take this now, go back over the tent. I've got the rain fly off of it. I'm gonna go back over the tent, do the outside, the non-seam portion, well, the seam portion again, too. Um, the big areas with this and a pump sprayer, now that I've got all the seams, 
like I said, I'm gonna do the tent first with the rain flour, cause that way if I run out, it's easier for me to let this dry, pack the tent up, put the rain flour on top in the Tupperware box or whatever you call it, I keep it in, pull it out and finish the job on that. So anyway, we're gonna pull this in a pump sprayer. We're just gonna put that much in there for now. It doesn't want to pour good, I can tell you that. Put this in there. And with this eye, I'm actually getting the seams a second time. All right, guys, I've got it all done. If it leaks now, it's probably gonna be during a hurricane. But you know, if you know you're going through a lot of rain, it's still a good idea to take a tarp, put it over it, not touching it. Put a long line from tree to tree and put a tarp, just extra protection. If you know it's gonna be some heavy rains. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button, it's gonna be right there and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.